Hello friends, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Reserve Graphics and Multimedia. As you guys know me, my name is Rafi Yakub, a procurement and importation business coach. And uh, in today's video, you are going to learn how to use Pindodo Hub in English language. Okay, but before I dive deep into the tutorial, if you are very new to this channel, please click on the subscribe, turn on the notification bell. So each time I post content about importation business, you will be notified. And lastly, but not the least, if you need business consultation about importation, you can contact me on WhatsApp via the number in the description of this video. So without further ado, so let's get started. So like I said earlier, you are going to learn how to use Pindodo Hub in English language. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have an application called uh, iDictionary. So we are going to use this app right here. So which means you must have installed it on your phone. And then right here, this is the print dodo we are going to use. So the first thing I'm going to like to head over to is my iDictionary. So I'm going to click on my iDictionary right here to get started. So once your iDictionary open, the next thing you need to do is to click on here. Click on lookup right here. Okay, having click on look up, then it takes you to this point. So at this point here, you can see this is already off. All you have to do is to click on here to turn it on. So I'm going to click on it right away. So once you click on it, you can see that the app is ready to be used, which is already on. Okay, so once you hold this i dictionary, we can now assist from this app, and then we head over to our Pindodo app right here. So I'm going to click on my Pindodo app right here. All right. So once you click on uh, your Pindodo app, is screen to open up. You can see everything on this app was written in Chinese, and uh, that is not a barrier. We are going to translate every Chinese language here into English language. Now, one thing you need to take into consideration when you turn on your iDictionary is that you are going to see your my dictionary is going to be on the on the on your on your phone screen right here. So my phone is right beside this uh, phone screen. Your phone from your own hand, it might be in anywhere on your phone screen. All what you need to do is to make sure reach this particular symbol or icon here. Now, for you to use a dictionary, you have to tap on the icon. So when you tap on the icon, in some cases. It may ask you for a permission so you can see it's going to ask me for a permission just click on set permission so when you click on set permission what you need to do is to just tap anywhere outside like this so once you tap it take you right here so next thing you need to do to set your permission just look for where you see this i dictionary off okay so tap on that from your phone so we tap on that to take you right here. The next thing you need to do is to click on this icon, turn it on. Once you turn it on, it's going to ask you this question. Observe your action, retrieve window content, stuff like that. Just click on OK. So this simply means that this I dictionary is ready for you. So let's head over back to our Pindodo and see how we can effectively use this app. Now you can use this I dictionary in two ways. One of the first way is that you can drag it all over the Chinese language that uh, anything that is written on Chinese and uh, it gives you a quick tra translation. You can see this one right here is cash wheel. So you can take it to another place. It gives you a quick translation. So once you have the meaning of what is written there, this one here, dog shadow daily. Now, this is the first way you can use this i dictionary to translate from Chinese to English language on Pindodo. The second way by which you can use this i dictionary is that you just need to tap on the hub. When you tap on the hub, this is going to pump up. All right. So at this point here, you can click on global translation. So click on global translation. Once you click on the global translation, it's going to scan the whole page. And then once it scans the whole page, you are going to see everything written here. So you can easily scroll down. Now you can take it to the text. You can see quick entry list. So take it to this text right here. And then this gives you the product name in English language. You can see our mobile phone is beautiful floodlight. 
Now you want to see more about the product, just tap on the product link. So you tap on the product link, it takes you to product six page, just like what you see right here. Then you can continue to use your iDictionary like this, drag it all over and see what is written here. So drag it all over. So you can scroll down and uh, drag it all over here. Then it gives you quick translation. So you can see this is a review. And so this is how you can use this particular app to translate from Chinese into English language without any stress. I hope you guys find follow for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumb up. And also remember to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial about importation business. And for one-on-one -on -one business consultation with me, you can contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.